What is going on guys? My name is Micah and this is going to be the 19th video in this 2D iPhone game programming series. In this video we are going to cover saving and loading data so that when your hero um, gets a high score it's going to actually save it into the app so when you close out or if you reset or anything like that it's going to load that um, high score back into this high score label right here. So we're going to create a new class to start so we're going to do command n new objective C class um, and we're going to call this game data now I usually leave the initials out in this game data class I'm not exactly sure why it's just kind of my own convention um, I guess it kind of distinguishes between data objects and sprite kit objects for me but you can put in your initials and um, that works just as well and for this is going to be a subclass of the NS object it's not going to be a subclass of any sprite kit class because we are just dealing with data and numbers nothing like um, nothing that exists in sprite kit like uh, nodes or anything like that so hit next we can do create and now we have this new game data object so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a property in our game data object that's going to be the file path property so we'll do game data uh, put in a couple parentheses here at property ns string file path and this is going to get the file path to um, to our data file where we're going to save this high score into we can actually go into the header file as well and create one more property it's going to be the high score property and it's just going to be an integer now we can start our constructor so um, we're going to call this constructor data. We're going to create this new object. We'll call it game data new. Now, this new function right here, it's exactly the same as if you were to do allocate initialize. If you worked with Objective C, uh, you've probably seen this before. This is just a shortcut um, to call those two methods at once. So now we are going to fill in this file path property. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the path. Um, I'm going to look over here and check out this function we have to call. It's a pretty hefty function, uh, so I don't have it memorized. So we're going to do ns search path for directories in domains, ns document directory. Make sure you do document directory and not ns documentation directory. Uh, do ns user domain mask. Um, and put a boolean in for yes there. Then we're going to do object at index zero. So what this does is it grabs um, it grabs the paths in the NS document directory that we can use to save this data in. Um, I'm pretty sure it only returns an array of one object. That's why we can do object at index and get our path that we want. So basically, you don't have to really have to worry about this. Just type this in. Don't worry too much about it, at least. And because um, you're only going to have to type it in once and then you're going to be good to go for pretty much any kind of game data that you want to actually save. So then our NS string file name is going to be the um, something called archive.data. This can be whatever you want. I just like calling it archive um, because you're kind of archiving the data. And then we're going to set our actual file path now. So we're going to do data.filepath equals path. So now we're grabbing the path to this NS documents directory, um, this good default directory that you can save any data files in. And we're going to do string by appending string. This is an NS string method you can use to append, um, append this, this string, for example, to the end of another string. And in this case, it's going to be path. So we're going to do string by appending string file name, and this is going to get our full file path. And now our file path is ready to go. So now we can return the data object, and our constructor is complete. So now we're going to do a couple methods here. We're going to do the save and load methods. Um, there are multiple ways to save data within, um, within apps like this. This is just what I like to use because I think it's more straightforward, saving it in this object and having these two save and load methods. So our save method is going to write a data object to our file path that we just set. So for saving, um, 
we need to convert our high score to a NS number. So we're going to do NS number high score object. So I'm going to call it NS number number with ints integer self dot high score. Now the reason that we convert um, convert our high score to an NS number from an int is because we can convert this, we can um, encode this NS number into a data file and save it within our app. So um, to do this, we're gonna do NS data, data equals NS keyed archiver, archived uh, data with root objects, high score object. So what this does, this NS keyed archiver class um, you use when you're encoding stuff into data. So you call this, then you call the archive data with root object function, and it converts it to this NS data um, object right here. And this object data we can actually write to um, we can write it to our app. And to do that, we just do data write to file um, write to file self dot file path and atomically yes. What this atomically is is um, you always generally want to put this to yes. It's just a safer way to actually save your file. Um, it's so if the iPhone gets interrupted in between the saving process, it kind of has a copy that it can return back to. So um, the data won't get corrupted. So just always put this atomically to yes. So that's our save method. Now this should um, write the data to the file. Now we need to be able to access that data that we just wrote. So to do that, we're going to do our load method. Um, our load method here is going to be pretty similar. We're going to do NS data data. We're going to get the data um, at that file path. So we'll do NS data data with contents of file self dot file path. This just grabs the data that we wrote right here in the save file. Then we're going to recreate this NS number high score object from this data. So we're going to do NS keyed unarchiver instead of NS keyed archiver, which is just the opposite of this archiver. It actually grabs um, it grabs the relevant data from our data files, and we'll do unarchive object with um, unarchive object with data data. And so this should restore our high score object. And now we can just do self dot high score equals high score object dot int, uh, int value. And this should return our um, data into our game data object. So in the next video, I will actually cover incorporating this game data object into our game. So it will actually save and load the data. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.